Today we're looking at the richest YouTubers on the planet. Am I gonna be on there? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> First up, we got Ooh. KSI. KSI is one of the biggest YouTubers to come out of How rich is KSI? Respectable 20 plus million subscribers. He made a name for himself through FIFA videos and rap music, having actually worked with some big names in UK hip hop. Along the way, he picked up vlogging and even had a boxing match with American YouTuber Logan Paul, earning an estimated $11 million. With money like that, wait, wonder KSI. $11 million from one fight? Is that what they said? Is that what he said? I casually bought a gold iPhone 10 while walking around a mall in Dubai. Coming in at a cool forty thousand dollars but that's a gold iphone 10 for 40k just why what's the benefit like it's it's a phone it probably works uh worse with gold in it like wait you put that in your pocket it's just gonna be weighing you down like come on that's chump change compared to some of the massive purchases this uk youtuber has made in march of 2018 what is that? ksi unveiled his five hundred thousand dollar custom made that's a Modeled after the Dragon Ball Super character. That's a chain? It contains over 2,000 stones. It took 550 hours of craftsmanship to make by one of the best jewelers in London. According to Social Blade. Let me see him wearing it. Probably never has. <laughs> likely makes between 1.2 and 3.2 million dollars annually. Sure is a long way to come from recording yourself playing FIFA. <laughs> Okay, just wait a second though. That chain is like this big and it's like not even flat. It's like round. That would hurt to wear. They didn't even show pictures of him wearing it. Has he ever worn it? I've never seen him wear it. Probably one of the most controversial YouTubers in the world. Or ex-controversial as he now claims. Just so you know, I, I am an ex-controversial YouTuber. That's no, yeah, that's no longer me. Logan Paul turned his success on the now defunct app Vine into a YouTube empire before the age of 22. YouTube? Is that you? Between starring in movies, hosting a YouTuber Olympics, having the number one podcast in the world, and the largest non-professional boxing match in history, Logan has proven himself to be an incredibly resourceful businessman, and his hard work has more than paid off. The American YouTuber lives in a gorgeous $6.6 .6 million mansion in Encino, California, with seven bedrooms, a I full gym, and a huge- I think Dave, he sold that. When was this posted? Four years ago, yeah. Okay. Okay, it's a bit outdated, but wait, so four years? They're even more rich. Inside. Welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Logan also put $225,000 into converting a regular old yellow school bus into his signature cool bus. While he obviously has a ton of money coming in from brand deals, touring, and his hugely popular Maverick merch, Logan Paul's channel likely brings in between $666,000 and $1.8 million a year. Not bad for a kid from Ohio. Yeah, but he didn't even go over like all of his other stuff, like his boxing. That was just his one channel. What about the podcast? I think his podcast makes more than his other channel. From Disney Channel to YouTube multimillionaire. Some problems are solved, but my brother through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. The younger brother of Logan Paul, Jake Paul, made a name for himself and was able to break out from his older brother's shadow. Jake's channel grew from nothing to 5 million subscribers in a matter of six months. That's actually crazy that it's not just one brother who's doing crazy stuff, it's two. Because like it all started with like Logan Paul, right? Then Sorry, if I sound a little stuffed up, it's because I'm just getting over a cold, guys. But it all started with Logan Paul, right? I think. I don't even know how they started. Well, so I'm even talking about this. I know they started on Vine. But it was like Logan Paul, right? And then, because he's the brother, he got in the videos, and then da 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 But now, he's like crushing it with the boxing. So it's not just like one brother. It's like both of them are like... The time had never been done before, as he likes to remind people in his infamous song, It's every day, bro. It's every day. With that Disney Channel flow. flow. The hugely popular <laughs> documentary series made by Shane Dawson on the young American YouTuber shows that he's branched out from YouTube into getting paid the big bucks to do speaking engagements at massive business conventions around the world. Combine that with his hugely popular music career and wildly successful merch lines. Bada. March. Popular music career? He pulling in the big Didn't he just make like diss tracks? I guess that's, I guess he um killed the diss tracks. Did he? 
Jake has a liking for buying nice cars, such as his $132,000 Tesla Model X and $350,000 Lamborghini Huracan being the crown jewels on his prize collection. While most of his money comes in through his merch line, his 19 plus million subscriber YouTube channel grosses between $1.3 and $3.4 million a year. Who's the Wait a second. Now? I just realized something. This was four years ago. Was that before the boxing? Because I swear he made like, like, I swear if I search it up right now, Jake Paul income 2023. I swear it says on like Forbes or something. Or like maybe let's use 22. Yeah, Forbes. 40 million. And I'm pretty sure lots of that's from like boxing. Yeah, winnings 30 mil. But still, 8 million from endorsements. That's a lot of money. So yeah, I was wondering like, why, why is he not talking about boxing with Logan Paul and Jake Paul? But that's because this was before boxing, wasn't it? Four years? When did they start? I swear they started around like four years. Three, maybe three years ago. Jack Septic. Oh, baby. Jack Septic Eye, my friends used to be obsessed with him. I mean, I guess I kind of was too. Like watching him every, every, every single day. Imagine going from being a sub 1K YouTube channel to one of the three most well known gaming channels on the planet. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, laddies! Well, thanks largely in part to an incredibly short shout out from PewDiePie, that's exactly what Jacksepticeye was able to do. I just got mentioned in a PewDiePie video. Holy. <laughs> the <ir> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that's funny. He was like going crazy that PewDiePie mentioned him, but now he's like friends with PewDiePie. Crazy how the world works. And guys, actually, I have a similar story. When I was in like middle school, I want to say, my like favorite YouTubers to watch was like Wolfie, Chad with a J, uh, David Parody, like that group of guys. And when I like started social media, well, I guess not when I started, but like I want to say like two years ago, maybe a year ago, um, David Parody and Chad with a J both followed me. And I've DM'd them before. And it's just crazy because like I used to be like they were my favorite YouTubers growing up and I was watching them every single day. And then I've talked to them now and it's just audience of nearly 23 million subscribers and counting, frequently collaborating with the other big gamers of the famous trio, Markiplier and PewDiePie. The generous Irishman doesn't like to spend his money to flex and prefers to use his influence to raise money for various charities, raising millions of dollars over the years for causes like mental health awareness, providing clean water to third world countries, and famously raising $225,000 for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention during a single eight-hour charity live stream. His YouTube channel earns an estimated three to eight million dollars a year from ads alone. That's money that's being put towards a whole lot of good in this world. Dan TDM. The second Brit to make our list, Dan TDM has become a pillar of YouTube since starting his channel way back in 2012. Against all odds, the English gamer has managed to captivate audiences for years, consistently pulling in millions of views with every new upload and garnering an audience of over 21 million. Back in 2014, Business Insider did a piece on Dan and estimated that he earns between 213,000 and 21,300,000 annually. That's a big, a pretty big range for a game. Yeah, that's what it's saying. Our most accurate data shows that the British gamer brings in between 3.4 and 9. .4. One million dollars annually from his YouTube channel alone. If you take into account his merch lines and brand deals, it looks like Business Insider wasn't too far off. David Dobrik. Have you ever wanted to be friends with the characters from your favorite TV shows? Well, David Dobrik made that dream a reality, becoming best friends with Josh Peck from Drake and Josh. Of course, that's no surprise considering how charismatic and likable the Slovakian vlogger is, and his respectable 13.8 million subscriber channel proves it. Dobrik lives in a $2.5 million mansion in Los Angeles, which he says is not too big, not too small, not too modern, and not too old. Perfectly balanced. Looks pretty modern to me. Except for that price tag, of course. I like that a lot. David doesn't just use his millions to spoil himself, though, and famously prefers to spend it to make his friends happy, and of course, then record their reactions and post them on YouTube in order to make it back. <laughs> Whose is that? Yours? No, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. So far, he's bought 15 of his friends' brand new cars with the help of some sponsors. His channel Jeez. pays between $4.8 and $13 million a year. All in all, Dobrik is living proof that dreams definitely do come true. And now he doesn't even post on YouTube. But you know what, guys? Rather than putting his vlogs on YouTube, now he just vlogs on Snapchat. And I've heard that Snapchat pays pretty good. So there must be a reason that he's not on YouTube anymore. <laughs> Dude perfect. Okay, so this one isn't so much a YouTuber as it is a team of YouTubers, but... <laughs> 
trust me, they've definitely earned a spot on this list. Famous for their insane trick shots and crazy sporting feats, it's no wonder that the group of old college roommates from Texas were able to win over the hearts and minds of the entire world when they first broke out on the YouTube scene. With a current subscriber base of over 45 million, Dude Perfect is one of the largest YouTube channels on the planet. The team has also ventured outside YouTube and have their own show, eponymously named The Dude Perfect Show on Nickelodeon and CMT. Really? They've been running since 2016. What? The group purchased a massive I didn't know that. 5,000 square foot warehouse in Frisco, Texas. Something you could never find in the YouTube mecca that is LA back in 2016. And are able to use the space to create some of their craziest tricks yet. I guess everything really is bigger in Texas. But from their huge channel alone, the group breaks in between 5 and 13.2 million dollars a year. Even split five ways? That's a lot of money. It is. Ninja. Wait, again, I used to watch Dude Perfect a lot in like middle school. I'm curious to see what, 60 million now. So within the last four years, they've gained another 20 million. Not bad. I'm like what kind of videos are they doing now? Pet stereotypes, mystery detective battle, mystery detective battle. Okay. Top 10 gifts of all time. Oh, they got a podcast, but they're still, yep. 7 million views, 5 million views, 8 million views. Crazy. They're still crushing it. <laughs> Ninja. Ninja. While not making a name for himself on YouTube, the famous streamer Ninja definitely oh, makes a huge How could he be in here? This is the world's richest YouTubers, not streamers. Come on, do better. Platform. Originally starting as a gaming streamer on Twitch, his YouTube channel is home to the highlights of his gaming career. Actually, that's, life. that's true. He has, what is he at, like 15 million subscribers on YouTube as well. And holds an impressive 22.8 million subscribers. Arguably the most- Okay, how's wrong? <laughs> Famous celebrity to come from the internet, Ninja was the first esports contender to ever be featured on the cover of Sports Illustrated magazine. He's done brand deals with massive companies like Epic Games, Samsung, Uber, Adidas, and Microsoft, with each deal netting him millions of dollars. In stream donations alone, Ninja earns over $250,000 a month and maintains live audiences of hundreds of thousands at a time. And the highlight reel that is his YouTube channel brings in a passive half a million to 1.3 million dollars a year. In 2019, Ninja made a deal with Microsoft to leave Twitch and start streaming exclusively on their debut streaming platform, Mixer, earning him somewhere in the ballpark of 100 million dollars. Just imagine how many V-Bucks you could buy with that. Something happened with that Mr. though, I'm pretty Beast. sure. Okay, my nose, man. Oh yeah, Mr. Beast. Okay, but I swear something happened with that and like now he streams on Twitch again. Currently one of the most famous names on YouTube, Mr. Beast exploded onto the YouTube scene by giving away thousands of dollars to random streamers. $35,000 donation says unreal. And spending huge amounts of money to set insane world records, such as Ubering all the way across the country. Originally uploading for years to almost no views, the North Carolina born YouTuber struck it big in 2017 when some smart investments in cryptocurrency made him an overnight million. Really? Instead of spending the money on himself, however, Mr. Beast found more joy in giving it all wait a second Last person deleted. his first big chunk of money from crypto i didn't know that this pit of money wins twenty thousand dollars and within nine months had given away well over a million dollars he frequently goes around the country surprising people with random donations of thousands of dollars or challenging them to 24-hour challenges to win tens of thousands and that's on the lower end in 2019, he opened up a free car dealership and gave away 15 cars to unsuspecting shoppers. I bought every single car at a car dealership. Opened up a store I watched that one. Old items like TVs and gaming systems for the low, low price of free. We are I watched that one. World's first free store. Played every carnival game at the largest Six Flags in America until he had won every single. I don't think I've watched that one. Only to give them all right back. Me and the boys are going to win every single prize at one of the largest theme parks in America and gave his younger brother 24 hours to spend $100,000. I watched that one. $100,000 in credit cards right here. You have 24 hours to spend the hundred thousand. Let's go guys, let's go. And that's just scratching the surface.
Mr. Beast earns most of his money, or rather the money he gives away from merch sales and brand deals, as well as the revenue he makes from views on his videos. He regularly pulls in tens of millions of views per video and has so far amassed an audience of over 24 million subscribers. Because of these huge Wait. numbers, his channel alone earns around 6.2 to 17 million dollars a year. Wait a second, this is how much he was getting four years ago? 24, 22, 21, 25, 21. Guys, look how, look how massively he has grown since then. Did he say 20, 20 something million? Wait, how many subscribers did he say? 20 million? Because now look at Mr. Beast. 230 million subscribers! What? I don't even know is that big. 230? Can okay, no joke. He can make it to a billion. That'd be crazy. Yeah, look at how many views. 146 million, 100 million, 160 million, 120 million. Mr. Beast is, Mr. Beast is the richest YouTuber. And I actually think that's actually a fact. Hold on. Forbes top content creators 2023. Let's see number one. Number one. I know it's not, I know. Yeah, here he is. Mr. Beast. 82 billion. Oh my goodness. Last stop. Oh. Pie. Oh, did you think we forgot the king of YouTube? It is me. Felix Shelberg, also known as PewDiePie, has held the spot of most subscribed to YouTuber for more than half a decade. I don't count corporations. In one amazing week in August 2019, <laughs> Ender Dragon, <laughs> Marriage, <laughs> PewDiePie became the first person to pass 100 million subscribers, married his longtime girlfriend Marzia, and beat the Ender Dragon in Minecraft. Yeah. Come on, why would you put this in there? <laughs> a game which he single handedly brought back into the limelight after years of being seen as a niche kids game. Along the way, the money and fame oh. really haven't changed Felix much, as he lives in a humble house in Brighton, England. That's a lie. An average car, but staying a dead. That's a lie. He lives in like Japan now, I think. He has been the key to his success for so many years. He does treat himself and Marzia to frequent vacations to places like Japan and Thailand, where he spent his amazing honeymoon, and he's found an interest in designer clothes. <laughs> Add to that his incredibly popular and constantly changing line of merch, and it's no wonder that this Swedish YouTuber called an estimate of his net worth of $40 million a little low in his 2019 video where he googled himself. His net worth to $68 million. It's very old data, isn't it? Each of Felix's videos pulls Probably. in millions of views, and he's frequently at the top of the trending page. Although, not so much in America for some reason. What? 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 The PewDiePie YouTube channel what is right? whopping $10.5 to $28 million a year. Felix has definitely earned it. Let's see how he's doing now. I swear he's retired. 111 million. That's still crazy. But I swear he doesn't post. Oh, he does. But yeah, he doesn't. Because he used to post like everyday gaming videos and stuff, right? But now, yeah, he's retired. Re retired. Okay, a little Christmas vlog. Wait, is that his, does he have a kid? Wait, is, he's got a kid. Yeah, let's just post a little vlog with his family. Another vlog with his family. I learned seven things in seven days. To imp oh, to impress his son. So I guess he's, because he's a little in his little office here. He's. I think now instead of like grinding out, he's just like, I'll make a couple videos here and there, you know, just live life. Respect. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Join me to slap that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.